David, first of all, welcome into the Canada camp here. Maybe to begin with, just tell us how this all came about and maybe your first thoughts at joining the Canadian team here in Spain. Um, it all came about uh, through my mother's side. Uh, she's, she was born in Canada, uh, in Winnipeg. Um, really, what triggered it for me was uh, Scotty Arfield's change. Uh, he changed to Canada and I realised that I could do the same, uh, well, possibly do the same. Um, so I went about it and, and got in contact with uh, with people and uh, like Morgan um, and just went from there, uh, filled out application forms and whatnot and and uh, and tried to try to get things done. You had a chance to see Canada play Scotland last year in that one-one draw in yeah. Edinburgh. What did you make of that game? It was brilliant. Uh, I was very impressed um, with Canada. Um, I thought they were, they were very. Um, very composed on the ball, um, looked to play out as much as they could, and um, yeah, it was a good result for them. Um, uh, I thought they, they they'd done well not to not to win the game. As I mentioned off camera, Mark Bertram I think is in the Guinness Book of Records for having played for Canada without having been to Canada. The first the first player to do that in international yeah. football. You've not yet been to Canada, so no, no. a similar position for you, I guess. Yeah, it is. Um, it's it's somewhere I've I've always wanted to visit though, and it's uh, I look forward to to visit in Canada as well. Now that I've got my passport, it'll be it'll be a lot easier. Um, and uh, I think my family as well are really keen to to get across and and uh, and visit Canada itself. You're a new player to this team, but certainly not new to professional football. Several hundred appearances in Scotland. Just tell us about your career and your, your story so far. Yeah, so um, I started out at the youth at Celtic and then I moved on to, to Hibs. Um, and then I, I stayed there for a good... I made my debut uh, with, with Hibs, um, which one I'll, I'll never forget. Um, I, I started the game, luckily, um, at the start of the season. And... Um, scored and got man of the match uh, on my debut which was one I'll, I'll never forget um, and then I had I had a good a really good time there I spent I think it was uh, seven years there which was uh, great and then I moved on to St Johnston and in my first year at St Johnston we won the Scottish Cup uh, which was a massive achievement for the club um, and everyone involved um, and we've went on to, to have a successful good uh, four or five years uh, in the league um, and it's, it's been good so far and I'm, I'm excited about this next, next chapter in my, my career. Yeah, and that brings you here to a camp with the Canadian team here in yes. Spain. Your first camp, I guess it's just a process of kind of feeling things out, but what are you hoping to achieve this week and I guess leading into this weekend's game against New Zealand? Um, well, I'm looking hopefully to, to maybe get some game time. Um, and, and get my first first uh, cap for the the, the country, um, and just really getting to know people, um, and and get all the ideas that are that are involved with with uh, the the national team, and and uh, really just integrate into the into the squad, and hopefully hopefully um, impress as well as well as uh, get to know everyone. And finally, John's been quite clear in his messaging to the media. This is all about Qatar 2022, that World Cup looming four years from now. Yeah. I know it's a long way off at this stage, but you know, what does that World Cup dream mean to you as a as a player? Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he said to me yesterday it might might be the last chance that, that I would get in my career. So um, it's something that's, that's very exciting and and, and very very uh, doable. Um, I think uh, the plans are laid out, um, and we'll just take a step at a time and we'll look to progress as much as we can.